If you have an older computer that makes editing 4, 6, or 8K footage unbearable without using proxies, but don't want to spend time rendering proxy files in Premiere Pro, you can save some time by recording proxies in camera, if your camera has that feature. If you're able to record in-camera proxies, you can start editing much faster since the proxy files are already done. You just need to tell Premiere Pro that you already have proxy files you want to edit with. In this video, I'll show you how to attach proxy files that were created in camera in your Premiere Pro project. So let's get into it. Welcome to another tutorial. I'm Desiree and I create tutorials on how to level up your photo and video content. So if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. Let's go to the computer to get started. First, copy your high res and proxy files from your memory card to your hard drive. It's important that your proxy files are indicated somewhere in the file name so you know which ones they are. I filmed my video files with a Sony camera so how Sony does it is that they write the high res files to a subfolder called clip and the proxies to a folder called sub. Also, the proxy files have the same file name as the high res ones along with this S03 at the end to indicate that they are the proxies. You can create a proxy folder on the hard drive you're editing off of and store all the proxy files there and the high res files in another folder like I've done here. Then go into Premiere Pro then go into your Premiere Pro project and import the high res video only. Right click on the video and go down to proxy then select attach proxies. Then you'll see a list of the video files that need to be linked. Select the video file then click on attach. Locate the proxy file that corresponds to this file and select it. Then click OK. Now the proxy file is linked. Just note if you move the proxy files to another folder or drive, you'll have to relink it because Premiere won't know where it went and you'll get a message that it can't find the file. You'll need to toggle between the high res and proxy files by clicking on the toggle proxies button, which is this one. If you don't have this button, You'll need to add it by clicking the plus sign here and selecting the icon that has the two squares and two arrows. Click and drag it to the bottom here. Then click OK. But since I have the icon already there, I'm just going to cancel it. So you could turn it on and off just by clicking on it. When it's highlighted in blue, you know that the proxies are being used. When you export the final video, you could export either in the full resolution or a lower resolution using the proxy files. If you're anticipating revisions being made, then render the video out in a lower resolution using the proxy files to render the video faster. If not, it will render the full resolution for every revision, which can take a long time depending on the speed of your computer. Once there are no more changes, then render it out in the full resolution. To render the video with proxies, select this Use Proxies box, then hit Export and select your preferred format and preset. To export the full resolution video, make sure this Use Proxies checkbox is not selected, then select your preferred format and preset and click Export or send it to Media Encoder. If your camera has the capability to record proxies, I highly recommend doing it in camera and then importing them into Premiere to save time and get to editing faster without spending more time waiting for Premiere to create your proxies. So that wraps up this video. If you found this video helpful, then click on the like button and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this. And click on the bell to get notified of when I post new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.